lead, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a real honor to be here today um, and to have this opportunity to speak to you, and particularly as a, being a fellow of Wilson College to uh, recognize being among uh, also fellows of the uh, college here in Dr. Lee, to thank him for on behalf of the university and the college of the University of Cambridge for the help and support that he's given so many innumerable scholars and others who come to our university. Now the topic I've chosen to try to cover today is the changing face of public health. And many of the perspectives I will try and uh, deal with are personal reflections on some of the activities I've been involved in over many years. And as such, please feel free to challenge them because they can only be relatively personal views. But I'm going to try to cover three main themes. Firstly, to deal with the changing face of healthcare challenges that the world of tomorrow uh, is going to bring us. Secondly, to put them into the context of global problems and the impact those problems may well have on those healthcare challenges. And then to do a little bit of, bit of crystal ball gazing. And that's where I'm on relatively thin ice, because here you may well disagree on my perceptions, but I believe these will have profound implications for public policy, implications for innovation and drug discovery, and lastly, but by no means least, what is the role of doctors and health education into the future? As you've heard, I'm quite fascinated with art, and the purpose for showing you this particular picture, which actually hangs in the National Gallery in London, is by the Norwegian painter Edward Monk. Edward Monk was a very interesting individual, and he eventually committed suicide and quite undoubtedly suffered very severely with bipolar disorder. But this image was with him for most of his life. There are six canvases of this particular image that he painted. There are about 27 different lithographs based on the same theme, and several of the same room deal with the death of uh, a very close relative. What we're looking at in this picture is something that virtually every clinician could begin to empathize with. You have a young person who is clearly not well, and you do not need a medical degree to see that. She actually has that waxy complexion of somebody in the late stages of untreated or untreated.